Apple has refreshed the MacBook lineup, is working on a foldable iPad, and more. I'm Matt Schuyler. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to look at here is this MacBook lineup. So they stopped selling the MacBook. It's really weird to me. So the MacBook lineup now consists of a MacBook Air and a MacBook Pro. It's also a more standardized lineup. So no more MacBook. We've got a refreshed MacBook Air with a True Tone display and maybe better processors. I'm not sure on that. But it does have a cheaper price and also for students a cheaper price. And then same thing with this entry level MacBook. So this MacBook has got better processors. It's got Touch Bar, Touch ID, a bunch of upgrades, and it stays at the same price. So it seems like Apple is simplifying this lineup. You basically have two options. You have the smaller, lighter MacBook, or you have the more powerful MacBook. And then it's also cheaper, slightly cheaper, maybe to match more with the rest of the market. This also includes them changing their SSD pricing. Just, I guess, down more to match, I guess, more of a market standard, which is good for them to lower prices and for this whole standardization, I guess, of this MacBook lineup. So I guess the simple thing now is you choose whether you want a lightweight MacBook or a more powerful MacBook, and then from there you choose your screen size, your price range, and you add things onto it at a more adaptable price. And I like that. They seem to be thinking more about this MacBook lineup. <sighs> this next one is a little weird. Foldable iPad with 5G. So a report says that Apple is developing a 5G foldable iPad the size of a MacBook. I don't get it. I don't believe it. I don't think it will happen. Let's touch on a few reasons why. First of all, this is developing. Sure, I'm sure they're working on it. I'm sure they're thinking about it. That just makes sense. Of course, they're thinking about new products, foldable products. It's a big thing right now. But I don't think they'd make a product that can beat so heavily with a MacBook. Like this right here, folding like a MacBook, size of a MacBook. You can see a mouse there, although this is just a concept by Luna Display. I'll leave a link in the description to that. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure they're developing this foldable technology, 5G technology as well. I just don't see it coming together in the size of a MacBook. It's just coming too close to invading on all of those other things. Apple wouldn't do that. That's not happening. Foldable MacBook? Maybe, but not like this. And not yet. It'll be a while. Apple needs to reach that perfection before they're going to release this product. So we'll have to wait a little bit for this. Speaking of crazy reports by Economic Daily News, here's a less crazy report by Economic Daily News. In fact, this report makes sense. The 2020 iPad could be slightly larger than our 2019 friend. So we're just seeing a slightly larger iPad. That makes sense. In fact, this even aligns with previous leaks, rumors we'd heard. This makes sense. In fact, the other thing they shared also makes sense a 16-inch MacBook Pro later this year. So we're talking about a 2020 iPad that's slightly larger than the current one next year, and a 16-inch MacBook Pro later this year. Both of these are feasible things that I foresee happening. The MacBook Pro, 16 inches, won't necessarily look like this. This is just a comment by Broking. I'll leave a link in his Instagram in the description. But it just... It makes sense to me that we'll see these things. A larger iPad. Makes sense. So I would expect both of these things to happen. iPad, MacBook. Now, we've talked about the MacBook. We've talked about the iPad. Now the iPhone. We've heard so much about all these different things. And the iPhone has got quite a bit of new news this week. The first thing is a report that says we will see four phones. Now this is consistent with other things we've been hearing. That's great. Why are there only three in this picture? Well, because not a lot of people have been talking about this fourth one. These are the three OLED models that we will see. The 11, 11, or 11 Max, or whatever they're called. And there will also be one new phone. This new phone will be in the style of the iPhone 8, just with updated internals. 
So it's a like a budget budget model, I guess. And we'll probably we'll be targeting like Asian countries out there where they're already heavily marketing this iPhone 8, iPhone 7. In fact, even I think they're heavily marketing the 6S right now. So I think this would make sense to have this iPhone 8 updated. Even for me, I would like that. That's something that actually appeals to me. Now, also with this iPhones, talking about the OLEDs, this right here is a leaked picture of the logic board. So inside the phone is the main board that does all the things, the, the things, technical term. It does all the things. So we've got that inside there. This is like a mass produced one. So this is one, this is one all together that would go inside the phones. So, yeah. And this means that we would have new components, possibly because it's a redesigned logic board. The current one is, I believe, smaller or like wider, I think, because it's got like an L battery. As with this one, I believe, this is what I think. We'll have logic board right here, and on the left is the battery without the L, because right now the battery does like an L shape, but that is not what it will do now. So it should be different, which means new components, more battery life, great things for these new 2020 iPhones and the 2019 iPhones. No, the 2019 iPhones. Great things for the 2019 iPhones. AirPods 3, or AirPods Pro, we don't really know how they'll be named yet, will have like um, more advanced things. So more sporting, waterproofing. And that's about all we know, is that we'll be getting new AirPods uh, later this year. So end of this year, probably with a Christmas time release. Makes sense for the holiday gifting season with the, a product like AirPods. And that'll have like, a, it'll be more expensive too, which I don't see as great. I think that AirPods are already overpriced to a kind of bad degree. And I do not think, I think they should market these AirPod 3 and they should maybe even lower the price right now. Okay, this is an emoji. Ever heard of it? Yes, it's very similar to Apple's Memoji, but don't get it confused. This is Memoji, this is Memoji. So Memoji is exactly like Apple's Memoji, except spelled differently. So Xiaomi is a Chinese company. They make a, a great phone, and they even use an Apple commercial on their website. So basically, we've got this Memoji that looks like Apple's Memoji. In fact, it's not even the first time that Xiaomi has done something like this. They have Air Dots that are incredibly similar to Apple's AirPods in the naming and the product itself. So, as a big Chinese phone company, they're known to copy Apple. And this is just another example of that. The second beta, public beta, is now available for iOS 13. Probably a little bit more stable than that first one, which turned out to not be great. So hopefully we're still looking at a good release of iOS 13. So these public betas are now out there if you want to try them. Just warning, they're probably not stable, just more stable. So you may lose data. There may be issues with that. But that is the case right now with the betas. So that was a lot of news last week. We'll have even more to cover this week. I'm Eskauer. Thanks for watching. Bye.